Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today we're going to take a look at the new Etcher Lab mini palette. Now this actually isn't a brand new product for them. It was previously released um, and designed by Stephanie Law, who is a very talented artist, and came out with this gorgeous ceramic palette. I think it was about a year ago, maybe a little bit longer ago than that, but I remember seeing it and thinking, oh my gosh, that is the sweetest thing I've ever seen. Um, I would love to get my hands on one, but then I was like, oh, how practical is it? It's so tiny. Um, but the folks at Etcher contacted me and asked me if I would like to review it, so I jumped at the chance because it's something that I'd been interested in previously, and I had a few people ask about it um, back when it was first released. So um, what you get is this little tin, so it's a little over three inches wide by about an inch and a half, if that. No, I'd say it's about an inch deep. And in there, you have some gorgeous little palettes. So you've got uh, felt, three pieces of felt to keep the palettes from um, banging into each other and also banging into the tin so it keeps them from getting chipped. It comes with a swatch for you to color in. Now, I laminated mine because I figured it would keep things from getting stuck because if I had laminated on both sides and if I put that on top of the wet paint, I figured that would keep it from, you know, keep the paint from getting on the felts or getting on the tin or getting on my fingers. So um, I'd highly recommend doing that and packing tape or contact paper is fine for laminating if you don't have a laminator. So I filled mine out after I filled my palette and while I was at it, I actually laminated another three inch circle so that I would have a little extra mixing room or a little extra, you know, clean thing to put down on top of my palette so if it's still a little juicy when I go to put it away, like if I'm traveling, it will just kind of keep the mess contained a little bit. So this is what the main palette looks like. You have 37 wells. Those other little gray felts there. Um, you have 37 wells, so you can have a huge variety of colors. Uh, you definitely want to make your swatch, otherwise it will be very difficult to tell them apart, especially as they dry and watercolors look so much darker than they really are in most cases. So, um, so you definitely want to make your swatch. I'm glad they included that because it would be a pain to draw that out, I think. Um, and I put some white gouache in the center just so I'd have that option if I wanted it. And then you've got the mixing area, which you could actually put um, more paint in if you wanted to. Like if you wanted a big well of ultramarine blue or burnt sienna or yellow ochre or whatever your go-to color is, you could do that um, because you can't fit a, a flat brush into those wells. So if you absolutely want to use a flat brush with this palette, you would be best to put a, the colors you typically use your flat brush for in this palette. Um, and you then you'd probably need an extra mixing space though, so that's where the laminated card would come in really handy. So we're going to talk about the pros and cons of this. Um, the, first, um, the first thing I want to talk about is the weight. So this is ceramic, um, and I actually got out my postal scale because that was my first concern I thought when I when I was going to review this, is like it's so neat and cool, but you know, it's going to be heavy. It's ceramic. It's in a tin container. Am I really going to travel with this? Um, so the cons would be that if you are going to travel with this, you need to have a place where you can set it. You can't really, well, maybe you could like carry them in your hand and mix and do that, but I think that would be very cumbersome versus a, um, like your typical metal tin where you can just, you know, put your finger in the ring hole and you have all this mixing space in your paints all ready to go. And it's, it's a little bit lighter. It's not a lot lighter though. The, um, without the third row of paints in here, please excuse the airplane that's going by. My doors are open today. Um, without the third row, this uh, metal tin is going to weigh six ounces. This, um, tin with all the stuff in there weighs seven ounces. So it's not a huge difference weight wise. Um, so if you absolutely love to paint on ceramic, that's an option for you to have for traveling, but you do need a stable place you can set everything down to work. So that would be a con. Um, and the other con would be the price. It is a little bit expensive. Um, uh, in United States dollars, this set is, and this is without paint, it's $50. In Australian dollars, it's 71 Those are the only two I know off the top of my head because when you log on to Etcher, uh, if you're gonna purchase this, the Australian price, pops up first and then it recognizes your own country and then I think switches to your own country. So it is a little pricey. I would definitely say this would be the perfect gift to buy a watercolorist who seems to have everything because it is just so cute and so well made and just really delightful. Now I was worried about painting with this. Is it going to be practical to have those tiny little wells? So at first I was kind of worried that it wasn't going to be fun to paint with, but it was. It was lovely. I love mixing on ceramic anyway and on my YouTube channel you'll see a time lapse of 
of this fig painting, and I did that all with that little um, that little palette, and it worked wonderfully. Um, and there is a real time version of that in my critique club if you're interested. But I had no qualms at all getting a getting my round brushes in there, even the larger ones. So what I'm just going to do over here is just show you. This is a number. Uh, well, it's a number six round, but it's um it's a a Polish brush. So let me just show you. This is a number eight round. Um, Western type brush, so it's a pretty good size brush. Let's let me just show you here. So I can easily get into my my paints, bring it over to my palette for mixing. I can mix up a fair amount. I wouldn't want to do like a nine by twelve painting, but if you're working in a sketchbook, doing something small, I think it's definitely um, definitely an option. You know, I, I, uh, I didn't find it too difficult to actually pick color up right from the, um, oops, that needs to dry a little bit more, right from the palette as well. But if you're going to do some mixing, you'll definitely, you're definitely going to want that mixing area um, because it can be a little difficult to control how much water and paint you're getting in those tiny wells. I filled this up um, about five days ago, so it's had plenty of time to set up. If your paints generally will set up faster in these small wells than they would if you were um, if you were filling a you know your typical palette. But um, it's summer in Maine and it's kind of humid, so it does take a little more time. But I really didn't have any problem even with a big brush like this, a number eight round, getting into the wells to paint. Um, so another con would be putting it away because once you know you're working here, you are going to be leaving some water in those shallow pel uh, wells. So I can show you here. I don't want to tip that now because I've I've gotten it wet, but this is about, um, I would say, three-eighths inch thick, you know, so it's not that, it's not super deep, and you've got the thickness of the bottom, so it's, they're not super deep wells, so if you've got a little water in there, it's going to go up around the edge, you're going to get some on your, you know, on your palette or, or your felt or whatever you put on top of that, so that's why I have this laminated one, and I try to line it up to wherever I put it last so I'm not just wiping away paint all the time. So you're either going to have to leave it out to let it dry before you put it away, or you're going to need to have something like an extra laminated circle like I have here, and, you know, you'll just need to be kind of careful when you put it away that way. And I like to put the palette on top just because I think it's a little bit easier to get it out. I love that they included the felts and the swatch card because that's you really do want to swatch those colors out when you have 37 on a palette. That's a lot to keep track of. But um, it's a really nice compact little little rig here. Uh, the cover fits quite nicely. The only thing you have to watch out about is it, it can be hard to close up because it gets like a little packet of air in there and it can be hard to close up. But once it's closed, like the lid's not going to fall off even with the weight of the tin on the, even the weight of the palettes on the lid. So it should be pretty secure. Just make sure it's not sopping wet when you go to put it away. And um, it's really a neat little palette. It's a luxury for sure. It is um, a dream to paint with. Definitely considered if you're looking for a gift for an artist. The only downside would be the, you know, transporting it, making sure that you have a place that's going to be stable, like if you're working in a cafe or a picnic table, something where you can lay it out um, if you're traveling with it, and the fact that you're going to need to refill your colors more often because the wells are so small, or take some favorites and use a couple wells with your favorite colors. If you're using high quality professional watercolors, they will last a lot longer in this set versus student colors, so you know, a little watercolor goes a long way, as you know. Um, but it's very well made, it's very unique, and I recommend it. If it's in your budget, if you're looking for that gift for an artist, I think you can't go wrong. I know I was thrilled to have that palette, and I'm sure any watercolorists in your life would be as well. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions on this, let me know in the comments below. I will link up to At Your Lab so you can have a look for yourself and purchase it if it's something that you are interested in. Thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up before you go. Until next time, happy crafting.